found a way. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you all for coming today. Great to see so many people. Thank you for the heckling, Cassie. Um, so, this, uh, for those of you who are new, this is our annual general meeting for Queensland Ultimate. That's our state sporting body. Um, so we try and grow and develop Ultimate across the state. Um, so for the past 12 months, uh, it's been pretty busy for us. Uh, I would like to start off by saying thank you to the Queensland State Government for their continued support uh, through the Queensland Sport and Recreation Industry Development Program that gives us uh, significant funding uh, each year. Um, thanks also goes to Queensland Sport uh, for their support um, and particularly Taekwondo Queensland um, whom we share an office with in uh, Milton Sports House. Um, it's been uh, actually quite a groundbreaking thing to have that office now, um, just being surrounded by lots of other sports um, and being able to ask questions quite easily as opposed to wondering, what do we do with this? Um, so I'll just go over a quick recap for the past year. So in August we had Halibut, the 19th Halibut, was run by Jack, um, broke uh, new attendance record um, for highest number of teams, 20, and uh, highest player count of 296, um, which is a great achievement for Jack. Um, uh, in uh, September, we also hosted the uh, AFDA conference, which is our national governing body. Um, so we helped with forming a strategic plan with Australian Ultimate. Um, it hasn't been finalised yet, but we look forward to seeing that soon. Um, we also took the opportunity to do our own strategic planning for the year. Um, we invited uh, attendees from Cairns, Townsville, Mackay and Brisbane, including club representatives from Mammoth, Views, Extinction, UQ Ultimate, Griffith Ultimate, QT Ultimate. Um, this was the first time that we had like 20 people representing different clubs and regions uh, coming together to help mould Ultimate in Queensland for the next three years. So that was, that was really amazing and awesome. Uh, in September we also had uh, Uni Games. Um, it was the first time that Ultimate had moved to a split gender, uh, so men's and women's. Um, there was lots of questions and concerns about how many teams would actually show up, and uh, needless to say, we had 45 teams show up in total, uh, which makes it pretty much the largest tournament in Australia for Ultimate. Um, of those 45 teams, um, we had six women's teams and four men's teams representing Queensland. Uh, the Griffith men took home spirit. Um, and ACU women's and QUT men's took home bronze. So well done. Uh, in amongst that, there was also a number of green and gold athletes from Queensland. Uh, Dom Simpson, Elliot Cook, Catherine Smith, Liam Grimman, Rebecca Barrington, and Sam McGuckin. Um, October, good times. Australian Mixed Championships was held in Adelaide. Uh, we had two teams go down, uh, Monstars and Extinction. Monstars placed fifth overall, uh, with Extinction coming in at 22nd, but they took out honours with the most spirited team. So well done, Extinction. Uh, one of the projects that Matt Ryan and John McNaughton have been working very heavily on is the development of a home ground facility for us. Um, if all goes well, It'll be just over there. Yes. So it's looking to be potentially six fields um, with proper amenities, and um, if we get all the ducks in the row, it's going to be an amazing facility. Uh, it would actually be also the first in Australia to have a dominant sport with their own home ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the question is, uh, where, what's it going to be used for? So, 
So, yeah, that's the grand plan. And if we can get tournaments up there, there's six fields worth over there. We've got three here. We can probably just expand over to the side there so we can hold halibut here if that is the case. Yes, it will be lined. Uh, the cost saving, it depends. Your, the assumption there is that um, it'll be cheaper to run out of there than hiring fields elsewhere. And just to give you an idea on costs, we ran Q Hat at Annalee last year. That was twice the price than here. So it's a big, big issue for us is the cost, particularly in Brisbane. So we're looking ways of bringing that down. Cool. Um, we also had some more award winners in November. Uh, University of Queensland presented its blue awards. It saw Timocles Copland receiving a full blue, which is the first person in Queensland or from a Queensland university to receive that honour. Um, so that's a massive achievement for him. Uh, Liam Grimman also won a half blue. And Dom Simpson would have gotten another half blue, but she already won it a few years earlier, so they didn't give her another one. <laughs> three halves make a hole. Right? <laughs> um, so congratulations to those three in UQ Ultimate. Um, on the topic of awards, December saw the AFDA awards coming out. Um, tournament of the year went to Halibut. Yay! <laughs> Female player of the year was Kat Smith, and male player of the year was Timocles. Queensland <laughs> cleanup. Um, we also had a number of Queenslanders making Australian representative teams. Um, so with the Barramundis, we had Kat Smith, Abra Garfield, Miles McCalm, John McNaughton, Timocles. Fine Foxes, we had Joe Salisbury, Jenny Beard, and Tam Davis. Wombats, we had George Salisbury, Troy Booth, Leon McIntyre. Southern Terror, we had Ava Muller, Aussie Thunder, Stu Jinx, Reese McAlvin, and Dan McPherson. So well done to all of them for making Australian teams in 2015 and this year. Uh, many of you guys were at regionals uh, this year in March. It's probably one of our largest regionals that we've had in a long time. Um, it also had a unique flavour with uh, the women having a development camp led by John McNaughton on the Saturday morning, uh, which then went into a little hat tournament to give people uh, more experience playing with different women. Um, this was also the first tournament for Townsville's new women's team, the League of Ivy. Um, and this is their first women's team that they've had come out of North Queensland, so that's really, really awesome. Uh, BCI returned to Brisbane this year, that's the Brisbane Canberra Invitational. Um, both Mammoth and Fuse had very strong performances throughout the tournament. Um, we also saw Division II Women's Nationals run for the very first time. Uh, it was held in Melbourne um, and we had two teams go down there with Fuse from Brisbane and League of Ivy from Townsville. Um, it's a great development opportunity and women had a lot of fun. A couple of things. And we had a couple make the All Stars team that went to Div One. Yeah, uh, Div Two Open was held in Brisbane. Uh, we had four teams in attendance from Queensland. Uh, Slam Town took out the silver with Towns Villains taking out the bronze and Spirit. Um, ABUC was held two weeks ago um, with a very cool trend. 75% of the teams that attended were interstate. Um, so it's really great to see this tournament gathering momentum and popularity from year to year. Um, and also today, this weekend, our under-18s are in Melbourne competing at the Australian Youth Ultimate Championships. Fortunately, I have no details on that because I've been busy playing here. Um, there we go. Yeah, who won Spirit at ABAC? <laughs> yes, it was Dusty Stan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, from a growth standpoint.
standpoint across the state, uh, Brisbane has grown now in its mixed league to 26 teams, um, six of which were rookie teams, so full of players that had never ever played before. Downsville has now grown to 16 teams, and Cairns has grown to six teams, with Mackay and Sunny Coast having the steady numbers for pick up each week. Um, that's probably the really, really quick version of my report. Uh, the other report's about seven pages, but I would encourage you to have a read about it if you're interested in how things are going. Yes, Ben? So, Bumble last year had 22? 24? Uh, it had, I think it was 24 when I took over from Lyle, and then I had 26 for season two last year. So it's been 26 under me, but it did grow from between Lyle and me. Townsville was 12 to 16. Yeah. So, end of last year, Townsville had 12, they've now got 16. We can grow this place. Yeah. So, <laughs> we don't have enough fields. But I got a new field. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll take this opportunity to thank all those that have given time and effort uh, to Growing Ultimate this year. In particular, great thanks to our competition directors, club managers, team captains, and the Queensland Ultimate committee and staff uh, for taking on this responsibility to make a difference. Like many causes, we uh, wouldn't be able to do much without your work, so thank you very much. Um, cool, so a couple of things, are you done? Yep. Yep. So just to tack on to the back of that, um, I'd like to announce Halibut this year, well we all know the dates, 21st, uh, sorry, 20th, 21st of August, back at Wynnum. Uh, the first time announcing as the 20th anniversary of Halibut, the theme is 20,000 BC. Uh, hey? Hey? <laughs>
And uh, that would leave us with events director. Cool. That is Tristan. He's our events director at the moment. Dusty, did you have a nomination? Okay. I nominate Dusty. Yeah, I guess. I nominate Tristan. Thanks. Thanks, Andy. Sorry, what was that? No, I'm going with. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speed of sound is too slow. All in favor? Woo! Good time. Um, wow, let's get some speed too. <laughs> Go! Oh. So that's probably the formal details out of the way. Do you want you just, uh... regional? Oh yeah, regional director. Because Tyson's not here and I keep forgetting about him. Uh, so Tyson Sorry, Tyson. But flies in and out of a mine all the time, so we sort of yes. don't talk as much as we like to. But uh, yeah, I'd like to nominate Tyson. Give it a second, nerd. Ah. He hadn't finished speaking. I didn't even finish the sentence. He said Tyson. Do you know another Tyson? Wow. Yeah. 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 If there's something that you're interested in uh, being involved with, by all means, come and have a chat with me. We're always looking for people to help out. There's always things to be done. Um, yeah, so I think that leaves us with the, the awards, and then we should be done. And then Jack can do his thing and have his tournament back. <laughs> all right. So you want me to? Cool. I'll hold it. And I'll take that for now. Oh, you Would actually you need me to open it? Right. Yeah, I thought cool. you had your own things. Man, in my head. Come on. Who nominated this? It's going to be a really easy <laughs> <laughs> I know. We'll have to check the minutes, <laughs> mate. I didn't vote for Jazz. It'll just help. Hi, guys! <laughs> cool. Miss you! I really hope this is actually recording. Alright, computer awards. There's uh, five categories, I believe. Male player of the year, female player of the year, club of the year, and volunteer of the year. That's only four. Good work, Miss. Um, event. 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 Oh, and event of the year. Sorry, that's not written in here, but I think it's... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, we did have a couple of nominations, not as many as we'd like, but you know, these things happen. Um, is y'all all lazy? <laughs> <laughs> speak up as well, Tristan. Yeah, you need to speak up, please. But then it's still. Uh, so, I'll just go straight into it. Uh, our most convincing nomination was Matt Paul on Matt Finn up in Townsville. Uh, he has done a lot of work up there over the past, in 2015. And he was playing on Townsville in the Div 2 team that took out the Div 2 Nationals, so, and also one spirit. Oh, I got third in spirit, sorry. Um, so, yeah, second to Beach Nuts. And second to Beach Nuts, so, yeah. great work. Uh, I think you were in through the way that you were first. Moving on to Female Player of the Year. Uh, this was a really hotly debated one for us. Uh, but we, in the end, we decided to give it to Joe Salisbury. Woo! He did a lot of work for views, both on and off the field, so we thought he was well deserving. And one stars. And one stars. And stars. I should write more on this. Ha, 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 ha. Club of the Year. Another really hotly debated uh, topic. Uh, Really edging out uh, Mammoth was Townsville because they took out Div 2 Nationals and they're also third in spirit, which is something we really feel we need to highlight. Uh, it's a massive achievement to both be really competitive and also yes, be really great. spirited. Yep. So, good work, Townsville. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I need to go into too much detail on event of the year. It was Halibut. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, for the final one is volunteer.
volunteer of the year. Uh, again, a lot of talk on this one because it's such a wide range of people that we can choose from. Um, people up in Townsville, uh, in Cairns, here in Brisbane. In the end, we did give it to Stephanie Moroz from the Sunshine yes. Coast. She's basically taken a region with zero ultimate in it and now has regular beach ultimate every Sunday, has beach on Wednesdays sometimes, like they're moving into grass, they're bringing teams down to ABUC, like they're really getting involved yes. and you know, we owe it all to Stephanie I think. So. Best team at regionals as well. And a team at regionals. Yep. So, great work.